Thursday night. It is week 15 here in the NFL. This is WPOE, the place to be for all things Ravens. I'm B-Ron, and tonight we're back here at MNT Bank Stadium for a Thursday night contest between the New York Jets and the Baltimore Ravens. The purple lights are out around the stadium. Fireworks are going off. It's a great night for football here. Color Rush jerseys are out in full effect. Ravens wearing the all purple with the gold. Jets in the all green with the white numbers. This is going to be fun, folks. Ravens enter this one 11-2, coming off a shutout victory over the Buffalo Bills, 38-0. Meanwhile, the New York Jets enter at 8-5 on the year and coming off a win against the Miami Dolphins. Mark Ingram and the guys down there on the sideline getting pumped up and ready to go. Lots of shoving and pushing and helmet banging all that stuff. Playoff picture is starting to come together. The Jets are in the hunt for the playoffs. This game could go along to determining where they go into the playoffs and a chance to maybe play spoiler here for Baltimore. Knocking them, knocking them down a peg a little bit in the seating. Justice Hill is back to receive the kickoff as Ravens will get the ball first and we'll see this offense start. Ball is on the tee and we are ready as for this Thursday night throwdown. Hill fields the ball and takes it up to the 22. That's where we'll see Lamar Jackson and this Baltimore Raven offense come onto the field for the first time. Jackson on the year, 11 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, 1,908 yards on the year. The AFC Player of the Week, Lamar Jackson, comes out in the pistol with Mark Ingram behind him. And Patrick Ricard split out left. And they're going to go option on the first play. Jackson going to keep it. Pass line of scrimmage and now a lot of space to run and get out of bounds at the 45 of Baltimore. Brown to the left side of the formation. They're going to go play action and take a shot downfield. That's a uh, knocked away from Boyle who was skied up to go get that one. Good coverage there too. Now third and ten from their own 45. Since the first down from Jackson, nothing has worked. Let's see what they do here in the pistol. Jackson jumps back to throw, lets it go, and that is caught by Marquise Brown. Makes a man miss, and a lot of space down the sideline. Can he get to the end zone? No, out of bounds at the two. Now, second and goal from the one here after Edwards got a yard on the run play. Goal line set again here, giving it to the big boy, Ricard. And Ricard is going to get in the end zone. Touchdown, Ravens. Patrick Ricard from their own 25. Le'Veon Bell in the backfield for the Jets coming over from Pittsburgh in the offseason. First carry for him, loses a yard, second and 11. It's a good one, and Hill's going to field it about the 15. And get a good return, a lot of space in front of him now. Can he go the distance, breaks the tackle, and oh my goodness, down the field he goes. Justice Hill, five, touchdown, Ravens. 77-yard punt return for Justice Hill. Special teams making an impact here early in this one. Oh my goodness. Every facet of the game for Baltimore has come together over the past few weeks. It's been so fun to watch. Breaks a tackle from the punter. And from there, see you later. Justice Hill. Now Tucker on to put the point after through. Make it a 14-0 game. It's up and good. Make it two for two. On extra points for Tucker on the night. Ravens leading already in this one. 14 to zero. And believe if the offense goes three and out again, it's going to be trouble. But Bell on the carry. Good run there for him. Up to the 35 last week. 22 carries, 92 yards, and a touchdown for Bell. Jets back in the shotgun formation. 6.15 to go in the first quarter. Darnold drops the throw and left side caught by Robbie Anderson. First down. Jets keep the drive moving. After the catch from Anderson, it's a first and 10 from their, from their own 41. Single back formation. Bell going to get the carry at the middle and run over Owasso, but finally get taken down through a yard or so. Now third and five for the Jets. Three receivers to the right bunched up here. Bell to the left. 
Darnold to throw and now looking to run takes off and is going to slide down at the Baltimore 43. Darnold's got some legs on him. He can move a little bit out there. Don't be too surprised if we see more of that if no one's going to keep an eye on him. He'll take off and he'll make you pay for it. He did there seeing nothing open sliding down for the first down. Can't blame him that way. You got a guy like Le'Veon Bell in the backfield. Run the ball as much as you possibly can. Jets go play action. Shot down field. Caught by Anderson, but knocked away after the hard hit from Earl Thomas. My, oh, my. Darnold throwing left side. Caught by Bell and not able to run over Jimmy Smith. The veteran. Veteran on veteran action there. Jimmy Smith wins that battle and brings him up short of the first down marker. The veteran Phil Dawson on to kick the field goal here to get just on the scoreboard kick is up and the veteran does not hit it short here Ravens now looking to throw and downfield to Brown but overthrowing him by a mile is Jackson now a third and ten for Baltimore from their own 42 not moving anywhere on the drive looking to change that here shotgun formation Ravens and Jackson gonna throw and that is Caught by Willie Sneed. Unbelievable. What a catch. I thought for a second there, 41 was going to make the play, but no. Willie Sneed going up, being physical, showing what a veteran can do, making the play, and just snatching it from, the, from his defender, really. Shotgun formation here again for Baltimore. Jackson jumps back to throw and under pressure quickly. Ball comes out, picked up by Orlando Brown. And back to the 45 of Baltimore. Recovery by Orlando Brown. Good job by him picking it up though. Now I'm gonna go option and Jackson gonna keep it. Maybe should have gave it to the running back though. That's not gonna get it anywhere. Third and 22. They will get the last playoff. And looking to throw downfield as Jackson is gonna let it go. And that is knocked away intended for Willie Sneed. So the punt team's gonna come on the field to start the second quarter of play. Ravens lead 14 to 0. Bell gonna get the handoff again and up the middle. Good job. First down for New York. 12 yard gain on the last one gives New York a first down from their own 19. Single back formation. Jets hand off to Bell and a lot of space in front of him. Enough for another first down. Back-to-back -back first downs for Le'Veon Bell. And pressure coming. Darnold is down in the backfield. Sacked by Pernell McPhee. He had a sack last week. And he has one tonight. Looking to get more of those, though, I'm sure, as he beat his man quickly off the line. Came through and got the hit on Darnold. After the play action, nowhere for Darnold to go. He didn't even see it coming. The drive was looking good. As the run plays from Bell got on first downs, but since then, nothing doing. Now a shot downfield caught by Robbie Anderson. Not enough for a first down, though. Short by two yards, Marlon Humphrey makes the tackle. Throw was intended for Nick Boyle, but to the sideline, though. Incomplete second and ten. I formation here for Baltimore. Ingram in the backfield is going to get the carry on the handoff and stopped in the backfield. Two-yard loss. The two-yard loss brings up a third and twelve. Offenses seem to fizzle out here to start as Jackson looks to throw and does so right side. Miles Boykin skying up to make the catch and getting him the first down and then some. Good job. Now first and 10 after the big catch from Boykin up to the Raven 47. And that's a throw to Andrews who makes the catch. Good job by letting the ball come out just before the lineman got downfield. Jackson, four for eight on the night so far. Up to the Jets side of the field on their own, on Jets 45. Hill gonna get the carry and there's a flag. Probably holding. Yes, is in fact holding. So this will be coming back. That is on Orlando Brown Jr. Adams coming down into the box here. Maybe bringing some pressure. And Jackson going to take the shot downfield to Brown, who makes the catch into the end zone. Touchdown, Ravens. 
What a throw from Jackson to Hollywood Brown. Just Justin Tucker on to put the point after through. 21-0. Ravens in the lead. Big single back formation here. What's that? Three tight ends in the set. Gonna stretch it out to Bell. And now Bell is in trouble here. Running into his own lineman. And falling down in the backfield. Losing yards. Third and 11. They'll give Judon the credit for the tackle. Third and 11 here. Jets looking to avoid the three and out as the Ravens bring pressure. And that is knocked away by Earl Thomas. Mark Edwards back to pump this one away. Been a busy man so far tonight. And this one is going to get out of bounds. And you know what? I can't blame you. Kick away from Justice Hill at this point. Jackson throwing now. Oh, it can go slant. And that is caught by Brown. And now Brown with double juke moves on the play. Whoa, look at that. Ravens are having a tough time running the ball, but throwing it has not been the issue tonight at all. First and ten, and here we go, handoff to Ingram, and once again, Ingram is stuffed. Nowhere for him to go, just a yard. Now looking to throw is Jackson. Jackson now lets it go for Boykin, and maybe a bad throw, bad decision there. That is picked off by Roberts. Fourth turnover, we'll see how that impacts the offense for New York. Darnold throwing, looking to run now, takes off, and up to the 28 before being hit down by Anthony Levine. If you were playing Madden right now, you'd be handing the sticks over because you're getting skunked 21 to 0. Jets are doing that right now. Darnold to throw, and that is caught by Robbie Anderson on the left side. Tackle by Marlon Humphrey, and we'll go first and 10. Jets going no huddle, and screen to Anderson, who makes the catch. Can't make the man miss, though. Jets continuing to go. No huddle here. Second and seven. Darnold rolls right. Keeps rolling right. And has all day to throw and just decides to throw it away here. Nobody open downfield. Bringing pressure quickly. And that is intercepted Jimmy Smith. Poor throw from Sam Darnold. And Smith's going to make him pay. Taking it all the way back to the house for six points for Baltimore. What a play, Jimmy Smith. Really looking to earn that new contract. This is his final year of his deal. Continuing to make plays like that will potentially earn him a new contract here in Baltimore. After the interception and touchdown from Jimmy Smith, defense will come back onto the field after the kickoff from Justin Tucker. Back to Barrios. Barrios up to the 24-yard line. First and 10 after the catch from Anunua. Jets on their own 44 in the shotgun. Darnold drops back. All the time in the world lets it go left side. Caught by Bell and out of bounds. Flag now on the play. They're going to get unnecessary roughness there on the play for Jimmy Smith. So... That's going to give them 15 extra yards on the play and up to the 38 of Baltimore. 14 seconds left, third and 13. Jets three receivers to the right side, bunched up here. Darnold looking to throw and hit as he does. Knocked out of the hands of the quarterback. Incomplete, fourth and 13. Great pressure there up front. Now Phil Dawson on to attempt the point after the field goal here rather I should say it's a long field goal he missed one earlier the wind is at his back this one is no good and Hill now going to return this one maybe looking to get some more points can't say I blame him cuts it back inside tries spinning but up to the 31 that's how the first half will come to a close just like last week it's all Ravens here as they are out in front by a large margin it's 28 to 0. They're putting on a show for the home crowd here in Baltimore. Let's go around the league for a preview of this week's games. We are a Thursday night game, so the Sunday games, big one there. Spills and the Steelers will play at 1 o'clock Eastern Time. Meanwhile, we'll see the Browns and Cardinals play at 4.05 in Arizona. That's going to be a good one, too, as both of the Browns are close in the race for the division. Right behind us in second place here. 
Meanwhile, on Sunday night, we'll see the Chargers and Vikings match up in a game that could potentially affect seeding as well. Meanwhile, on this one, it's all Ravens. They're just continuing to dominate in every facet of the game. They've looked really good over the past few weeks and continuing to do so. Looking to be in playoff form here, I'm sure, as Tucker is on to send the second half to start with a kickoff through the end zone for a touchback. They were shut out in the first half on the scoreboard. They're looking to break that here at least. Single back formation. And there's a handoff to Bell. Bell is going to be met in the backfield. Nowhere for him to go. Losing five yards on that one. Tony Jefferson among the Ravens back there to make the hit on Bell. It's been a frustrating night for him. Really for the Jets offenses as a whole. Looking to turn it around here in the second half. But boy, oh boy, it's not looking good so far. That first play has any indication. 14 coming up here for New York. Looking to keep the drive alive. Throw is caught by Inunua. And that's a first down for New York. Big play there. Gets him up to their own 44. Third and one. Jets looking to keep the drive alive. Ravens looking to stop him here. Here we go, single back formation, throwing, right, left side, caught, for a first down. That's Jamison Crowder making the catch, first one for him on the night, too. Gonna need everyone to step up here if the Jets are gonna want to make game out of this one. First and ten, shotgun formation from Baltimore's 45, Don under pressure, now scrambles and gets out of the pocket, has space in front of him and hit down at the 24. Second and two. Jets on the Ravens 15. This is the farthest farthest they've been all night. And throw and catch to Herndon. Another first down up to the 11. Jets are rolling now. As the Jets are on the 11. Darnold throwing and that is intercepted. Marlon Humphrey. And there goes the Alabama cornerback. Sam Darnold is going to make the play. No Points for you, says Marlon Humphrey, as he picks off what would have been a touchdown pass. Jets are still scoreless. I've seen him run a whole lot tonight, but I guess he hasn't really had to do that, as the passing game has done the job so far. First and ten, single back formation, Jackson to throw here. And there's a flag on the field, Jackson stops, now takes off. And gets down the field and out of bounds. Hit out of bounds at the 39. Second and 20 now after the incompletion. Receivers and tight ends got in the way of each other. Got a little confused, mixed up there. Jackson lets it go downfield. Throw to Boykin is knocked away. Throwing 29 after the penalty. They've gone nowhere. Jackson stepping up to throw and lets it go to Andrews, makes the catch, jukes a man down the sideline, and up to the 24 of New York. Jackson is going for his sixth player of the week award with this performance, I'm sure. He said that was our chance to get off the field and get our offense going, but no, no, of course not. Why would we do that? First and 10. Jackson to throw again and in some trouble. Nowhere for him to go and he's going down for a sack. Hand off to Hill. Hill is going to be hit and lose the ball. Picked up and the Jets will have possession of it. And then Williams recovers the fumble. Second and five here. Bell on the handoff. Takes it way out left side and down to the 43. First down New York. First and 10, Baltimore bringing the safeties up into the box. Maybe a blitz here. The safeties are blitzing. Donald lets it go, right side, caught by Anderson. Third and three now. Minute and 46 left in the third quarter. Jets still scoreless on the day. Throw right side, caught by Anunua. First down, Jets. Donald now over 100 yards, 124 on the day. Ravens out in the 4-6 as the Jets are in a single back formation here. Minute and 10 seconds left. Going to go play action. Haven't had much success with, that, success with that today. And Darnold gets a couple of yards. 
Second and seven. 35 seconds left in the third quarter. Single back formation here. As he'll go read option. Darnold now going to run. Break a tackle. And taken down by Tony Jefferson. At the 10-yard line. Last time they got down here, though, the interception ruined the drive. Five seconds left in the third quarter. We'll see if they get a playoff before the quarter ends. And they do not get the playoff. So we will head to the fourth quarter in this one with the Ravens out in front. Get your fours up here in Baltimore. 28-0. Here we go. Darnold empty to start the fourth quarter of play. Pressure, throw, caught, and into the end zone is Quincy Inunua. Touchdown, Jets. First touchdown of the day for New York. Jets are on the scoreboard. They finally break the zero. They break the goose egg. Jimmy Smith could not bring Inunua down in time. Inunua able to fight through and fall into the end zone for a touchdown. Great effort there. Put the extra point through. Make it a 28-7 ball game. Kick is up and good. 28-7. Jets are looking fired up after that one. Eight plays, 70 yards, three minutes and 41 seconds off the clock for New York. Drive ends with a Quincy Inunua touchdown catch. I formation to start the drive here. Ingram in the backfield. Haven't seen a lot of success running the ball today as... It's going to be let go and caught by Brown. Brown breaks a tackle and up to the 48 of Baltimore on the drag route. Good job. From the Jets 40, Ravens still looking to move the ball with the score on the last play. Jets have made it a made it a bit of a closer ball game here. 28-7. Getting in 10 from the 29, Chris Moore in the slot. Brown and Boykin on the outside, the receivers. Throwing is Jackson. He's going to take off and get out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Enough for a first down, though. 35 yards on the ground for Jackson today. Pistol formation here. Bunch receivers to the right side. Andrews, Moore, and Boykin. Play clock is down to five seconds. They do get the snap off. And looking to the end zone for Sneed. Pass is caught by the veteran, Willie Sneed, but not a touchdown down to the two-yard line. Great catch from Willie Sneed. He's showing that he deserves a new contract, too. First and goal again from the 12 after the holding penalty. Shotgun formation, Hill in the backfield, split out right side of Jackson. To throw. And throwing to the end zone, and that is... Caught by Miles Boykin. Touchdown. First touchdown of the day for Boykin. Jackson with the dangerous throw across his body. I don't know how in the world he managed to sling that thing across his body and get it to Boykin like he did. But what a catch too though. No review. They will say that the call stands up there in New York. As the point after is up and good, 35 to 7. To send this one away. Will be returnable though as the wind is at, wind is blowing against them here. And this will be brought up to the 24 yard line. So pretty good return there. Gonna need some help. From their, from their own team as the Jets start this drive at the 24. Darnold drops back to throw and is caught as Bell puts a spin cycle on and breaks through a few more even defenders before being taken down at the 40. Jets empty. No one in the backfield to protect Sam Darnold. As Reigns will bring pressure and that is off the mark for Herndon. Incomplete. Now split shotgun formation here. Bell to the right, Herndon to the left. Darnold drops back, throws to a wide open. Herndon makes a catch and down to the 32. First down for the Jets. They'll keep moving here. 20 yard line, first and 10. 320 left in the 
Fourth quarter of play, Bell gets the handoff and nowhere for him to go. Back two yards, it's Thomas' second tackle for a loss tonight. Second and 12 coming up. Defense been on the field for a while, you think they might be a little tired here. Second and 12. 250 left in the game. Ravens lead this one 35 to 7. Donald now going to take off. This time there is a spy on him. Chris uh Michael P Michael Michael Pierce doing the spying though. Going to bring out the field goal team and Phil Dawson to put some points on the board. Surprising to not see the offense back onto the field though. Dawson puts the kick up and through the uprights it's good. 35 to 10. As the handoff's going to go to Edwards, and once again, stuffed in the back, with no way for him to go. But it's not really going to matter a whole lot, because the Ravens are going to move to 12-2 and two on the year. They are now winners of seven in a row. Cook is back to punt this one away. If he's even going to punt it, we'll see what happens, though. They're probably just out here to hang out for a minute. Three... Two, one, clock is gonna hit triple zeros. This one is in the books, folks. Ravens win on Thursday night, moving to 12 and two on the year. Winners of now seven in a row. As we get closer to playoff time, boy oh boy, this team is looking better and better, and what a time to do it, honestly. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for me. I appreciate you guys so, so much been really fun video really fun game i'm surprised that the last few games have went like they have uh it's probably just because morale is playing a factor into a lot of the stuff or you know the game just being weird and not giving me competitive games but it's sports it happens you know variety is spice of life so if i start to see a lot of blowouts constantly then i'll consider changing things but until now two weeks in a row isn't enough for me to make any rash decisions so, I will see you guys next week when we'll go on the road to play the Browns. They're not coming here. My apologies, I just noticed that. Uh, we're going on the road to play Cleveland in their house. So, that should make things, that should make things more interesting in the battle for the AFC North. That's going to be fun, I hope. I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as well, if you want to see more of me or be more involved with me, I do have a Twitter and Twitch both links will be in the description box below. But until next week, guys, you know what to do. Keep on shining and keep on grinding.